Hey guys. Hi. We're in Georgia. <laughs> yeah, we're staying at my parents' house on our、uh, trip back to Miami. So why are we in Georgia, David? Why aren't we in Kentucky anymore? Was this not covered in the last video? No. <laughs> we found mold in the bathroom、um, at our house.、Uh, we had some.、Uh, We didn't see eye to eye with our landlord on how that needed to be resolved, and so,、uh, long story short, we're heading back to Miami early. So it's been like a really emotional month, just trying to figure out what God's plan was for us as we were walking through all this. We didn't expect it to be so soon, so it was definitely some emotional goodbyes. Since we thought we'd have more months with the church that we were at, with、um, our friends and groups there, but. We're also so excited to be coming home. So on one hand, it's really tough because, like Melinda said, there's a lot more that we wanted、uh, to do while we were in Kentucky. But it's just—it was very clear that this was God's direction, His hand leading us, and this was the right time. We're on our way back. So making a road、Yay. trip, we're gonna make some stops, <laughs> stopping here in Georgia, stopping Orlando,、uh, stopping just south of Tampa. Some big prayer requests that we would have in this transition.、Um, probably the biggest one would be like housing. Like, where are we、yeah. gonna live?、Um, we'll be staying with my aunt who lives in Davie, and she's just amazing. And we can't wait to spend time with her. But we're praying for God to show us whether it be a rental property or purchasing a home. I mean, continued health. Obviously, coming out of、uh, just the allergies in the Kentucky, in the Ohio Valley, and.、Um, And the mold in the house and stuff. I think we're still all recovering a little bit from that. I just wanted to share just one quick story from this last month.、Um, there are like three or four slides in our video of it. It's the day that we decided to move. It was a Saturday, and、mm. David and I were basically in the back room making phone calls like all day. And the poor kids were just like tearing <laughs> up the house. That afternoon, we got a text message from a friend who said, "Hey, we want." We want to provide dinner for you tonight.、Um, no idea what was going on. They had no idea the type of stress that we were under that day, and it was just a huge、um, gift from God. And we were able to go to Chick Fil A and just have dinner together as a family, just enjoy our kids. And after like a really long day of prayers and tears and questions, and finally making the decision. Um, able to have that special time, and that's just like a small, brief, like picture of how God has continually cared for us during this process of just reminding us that He's with us, He's for us, He's taking care of us, He's providing、um, not only our needs like physically, but even emotionally. God has been super good to us,、um, providing both、um, people from back home in, in Miami and also here in Kentucky. I mean. Have so many friends that jumped in and pitched、mm-hmm. in and helped us move and helped us、yeah. just watch the kids、um, while we were packing,、um, and just felt really cared for, loved, provided for by、uh, our church and friends here as well. So,、mm-hmm. you know, we just we have no complaints. God has been really good to us.、Yeah. Um, we're excited about this next season. Thank you so much for your prayers. Thank you to those who watched our kids for hours and hours and hours. Those who brought over meals without me even asking, and just have been praying for us and reaching out and texting us and、um, just loving on us. Like we are so so thankful, and we can't wait for this next season of our lives back in Miami and serving the Lord. Yeah, with His strength, with His guidance. So we love you so much. See you again soon. Bye. It's Thursday, and we are headed to a John Crist concert. Comedy show. Comedy show.
Like it's white. It looks like no, that's why you have gloves. They're gonna get messy. I'm running a little late, but um, today was crazy. I flew in from Miami early this morning, and then we had a meeting for lunch. And I just totally crashed this afternoon, and now I'm going to class. We're heading to our last class. This is a little sentimental. 
especially considering everything that's going on right now. I'm not sure. This might be the last one before we move back. So, I just wanted to document this. <laughs> So we have found mold in our house. This has been a developing situation. The mold is um, affecting our health and very toxic in our house right now. So um, this is the update. I don't know what tomorrow will bring, but I thought I'd kind of record our journey. Um, the kids are eating lunch on the floor of this random house that we're looking at. The house looks amazing, but it smells really bad. So we're just gonna keep looking at houses here. And we're really praying and trusting that God's going to lead us and direct us. Kind of cool is God has been teaching us through Exodus. We've been reading through it as a family. And um, it kind of feels like a little mini Exodus. We don't know where God's bringing us next, but we know he's leading us. He's directing us. And it's encouraging to know that he will fight for us. And he knows what's next. We got Solomon's clothes here. For Annabelle's clothes. Here's all of Olivia's clothes. We're gonna go through. So today is the last day of lectures, Dr. Schreiner's New Testament class, and then um, finals are next week. And then it's time to go heavy on packing and heading home. Spring has arrived on campus, so it's beautiful and green, and they've got the water fountain. A few hours left, and then it's just writing papers and finals. We've definitely taken a lot from Southern Exchange, but I think we're giving back more than enough. <laughs> I don't know where the kids went. <gasps> Are you guys excited to move? Yeah. Because because I've been saying, oh, my kids are inside there. Being super conservative. Oh, another five. house. This sweet little mural is going to be painted over. It was so beautiful. Um, it just feels so surreal. Like I, I literally feel like we just moved here. It's so bizarre. I'm kind of glad that we captured everything that we did though on video. I'm going to be able to look back and remember a lot of the memories that were hard in going through them but fun to to look back at. And remember we've made a lot of memories here in Kentucky in just a short time and there's going to be some some hard goodbyes that we still have, and um, there's a pot in my garage, in my driveway, and it's so strange. <sighs> We're going home. You want me to go back? Otherwise, I need to do this couch.
pump. It's hurting. It's hurting. Okay, all done? Yeah. So cool. What's going on, Solomon? Lily pads? Yeah, it's a Drawing, Annabelle. Solomon, you did it all by yourself. Who are you talking with? Me and Mom. Stop, Riley. Me and I mean it. He wants, she wants to stay here. All right. <laughs> I'll keep you in. Hi. I'm <laughs> Okay, I'll close. That's baby. I do, baby. Who are you talking to? I got that I don't know what baby. I want that baby. I am baby. <laughs> 